them in their stool. Well, you just answered your own question, man. We bow down to the Saudi kings because we are dependent on them. Absolutely. I mean, would you like to bow down to a Saudi king? Are you are you telling me that conservative folks wouldn't bow down to the Saudi king right now? The new guy, Salman. I mean, really? We got to kiss his ring because that's what we're doing. We're heading down a final path, man. That's all I got to say. I agree with you. We have a clip we'll play later. Have you seen this new clip where there's U.S. troops clearly there battling Russians in Ukraine? Uh, yes, I've seen that clip. And uh, you know what? It is true. And usually the stuff I see on TV is not true. But this one is pretty good. I, I like it. Well, yeah, I mean, they pretty well, much I mean, admit. I don't, I don't like it, but I'm just but saying. you like the truth. Like, yeah. Sure, sure, no, I passes get you. The smell, passes the smell test. Well, sure, I mean, they admit there's a proxy armies they're fighting. That sounds pretty reckless to be starting a war with the Russians to me. Well, uh, you think this is reckless? Wait till we start a war with the Chinese when they come crawling for their debt to be repaid. Then we're in a world, a heap of trouble, man. No, I agree. Right? Al, Al, I mean, you really are a pretty smart guy when it comes to geopolitical stuff. That's why your music's so popular. It's not just, uh, I mean, good on the ears. I enjoy it. It's, it's got a lot of energy. But uh, the lyrics are extremely powerful uh, from a political perspective. How did you begin to form? Russia, yeah. Russia is the least of our problems right now. You think it's China? Right now, I, I really think the Middle East... And the Far East are our big problems. Russia is just like a bump in the road, whatever. Go ahead, take over goddamn the Ukraine or whatever the hell they're taking over now. Uh, I'm telling you, the big battle's coming up ahead. I agree. Let's break down that big battle. How do you see that unfolding? Well, I see it's like using every weaponry that we've ever developed at Area 51 and other black spots and... Uh, just kicking some ass around this world enough with the like spare the civilian population these people are going to go bonkers and start dresden bombing everyone you can see the building up and the hardening of things here domestically in the homeland and all the fascist iconography and both parties getting in line uh and, and in my gut i can just pick up on the ominous doom that is beginning to approach it's, uh, I, I'm with you, Alex. I'm with you. This is some pretty gnarly, gnarly stuff, man. Gnarly. This is not good. When we come back, we're going to uh, play uh, from Beer to Eternity uh, song, Punch in the Face. I want to get your take on uh, your a new album. But before we go any further, what are some of the other issues you want to get into? Because we didn't do any pre-interview. I like to just bring you on raw. What else is on your radar screen and what's ministry up to? Well, I'm, like I said before, um, uh, the good news is that oil is below $50 a barrel. The bad news is oil is below $50 a barrel. This makes the speculators rich and nobody else. And on top of that, it shows how much Saudi sway they have in the world because they can drop the price and still grab oil out of their grounds, out of their sand pits for cheaper three times cheaper than Canada or these other places. That's sweet. Venezuela. Yeah. If you know, just noticed, all right, Mr. Bilderberger, here you go. Here's the important news last week is the Venezuelan oil minister met with the new Saudi, or actually the old Saudi king, right, before he croaked. And that was the thing to set oil prices for the next year. Now, if Saudi Arabia wanted to, they could have us on our knees in one minute. And right now, it's all kind of kosher. Everything's under 50 bucks a barrel and this and that and blah, 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 blah. But I'm just telling you, it just shows it just goes to show you the power of the Saudi regime with this repressive regime in the Middle East. And the their, um, you know. What, what is it? The enemy of my uh, enemies is my friend kind of thing. That's what the Saudis are. I'm sick of these folk. No, I hear you. I, I mean, they're dominating and enslaving their own people. You don't hear the feminists and liberals criticizing them when they, like, execute women that argue with their, their husbands. It's just unbelievable. Al Jorgensen of Ministry has got the new book out, uh, 
it's a very popular seller. We're going to talk about that. We're going to get into some of when they may be on tour, the new record, and a lot more. And a very interesting a political uh, rock star uh, who created industrial rock he is our guest, Al Jorgensen of Ministry. Stay with us. Hey, sorry I'm running late. I had to stop and get my vitamins for the month. I got mine in the mail yesterday from DiscountNutritionShop.com. So I'm here, totally on time. <laughs> DiscountNutritionShop.com? Yep, they're a lifesaver in more ways than one. They have all the nutritional supplements you need, the major brands you know. Plus, you can save up to 10%. Write down this number, 888-908-4548. Huh? 888-908-4548. Or just go to DiscountNutritionShop.com. Worried about getting sick and feeling terrible for days or even weeks? You need Immudine for a healthy immune system. Why get sick and bother with products that just don't work? For just a dollar a day, Immudine is all natural and safe for all lifestyles. Call 866-257-8668 to buy now before it's too late, before you get sick. Or go to immudyne.com, immudine.com, or call 866-257-8668. Alex Jones here. For the last two years, I've been working with top doctors, nutritionists, and chemists to design a nutraceutical formulation that has truly life-changing health benefits. So many other formulations out there contain toxic ingredients, synthetic additives, and even GMOs. Introducing the all-new Ancient Defense Herbal Immunity Blend, crafted with over 14 key ancient herbs and extracts to supercharge and prepare your body for what experts admit is the most dangerous season of the year. We have rejected hundreds of other formulations in our quest to bring you what is simply the most powerful and comprehensive proprietary formula that we have ever created in the realm of herbal immunity. Experience the benefits of combining over 14 ancient herbs and extracts with exciting new advances in nutraceutical science. For a limited time, get 25% off on this introductory offer. Visit InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-888-253-3139. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Attention Alex Jones listeners, when you're on the road or have limited data or Wi-Fi, now you can listen to Alex Jones unfiltered and untapped at no extra charge on this non-federal phone number, 1-605-562-5136. Try it now to listen to Alex Jones 24-7 at no extra cost or data charges. These are not on federal lines. These are lines located on Indian reservations off the grid. Call 1-605-562-5136. No smartphones or internet needed. To hear Alex Jones untapped and off the grid, just call 1-605-562-5136. Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to generate an endless supply of natural silver solutions, SilverLungs.com. You'll find no wild claims or pseudoscience, just a lifetime of nano-sized pure silver solutions. The Silver Lungs generator allows you to make your own, so stop paying for silver solutions. The unique lung delivery system targets respiratory infections where other silver solutions simply cannot reach. See the Silver Lungs generator and lung delivery system at SilverLungs.com. That's SilverLungs.com. <gasps> hey, Boomer! I learned in school today that 60% of our bodies are made of water. Good thing we have the Berkey system. It's the cleanest, best water ever. Mom says it's because the Berkey's filtration system cleans out the bad stuff and leaves only pure, delicious water. I know, right? You love it, too. Yeah, I'm thirsty, too. Let's go get some. Get Berkey clean water by calling 877-886-3653. That's 877-886-3653. Or visit GoBerkey.com. You know about RVs, you've heard about bunkers, but surviving is not recreation. And man wasn't made to live underground. Introducing Survivalist Camps, the ultimate fully functional off-the-grid survival bug-out house that's mobile, well-equipped, and custom-built to outlast any other RV or trailer. Go to survivalistcamps.com to learn more. That's survivalistcamps.com, providing your basic needs to survive. Survivalistcamps.com. I've had some fun to this tune. From the front lines of the information war, it's Alex Jones. What we are looking at. That's George.
George H.W. Bush bringing us in. I'm your host, Alex Jones. Al Jorgensen, the founder in 1980 of Ministry, is our guest and still the front man and owner of the whole operation. Has a new best-selling autobiography out we'll be telling you about. He wants to play a clip from his uh, album, From Beer to Eternity, Punch in the Face. But coming up in the next segment, Al, this is a short segment. I'm going to play a clip that was censored the last time I played this clip. And I'm not going to tell you what it is until we get there, but I'm going to illustrate what you said about the Saudis and what I've run into because I've never hit censorship like I do when we talk about the Saudis. So that really goes to what you're saying. And nobody ever really talks a lot about the real power this group of hoodlums have or how they're behind trying to take down Syria or Libya and they're behind ISIS. Our media claims they're fighting them. Uh, what is your view of ISIS and this whole radical Islamic movement? I mean, pretty clearly, they admit our own military has been ordered to fund them, to turn them loose. Uh, where do you think that's all going? Well, I'll tell you what I think about ISIS. First of all, the Saudis don't like them because they have such a repressive regime that the last thing they want is Islamic fundamentalists. The, the rest of it, the whole ISIS thing, the beheadings and all that, Look, they just asked for $200 million from Japan, which would have funded enough weapons to take down so many American planes that are hovering above the Middle East. I mean, these people are not, like, going away. I hear they, you. They're not going away. I like, hear you, Al. As usual, you know all the general facts surrounding it, but here's the issue. Saudi Arabia did fund al-Qaeda in Syria, which is the core now of ISIS. Man, yeah, they man. funded al-Qaeda. They yeah. didn't fund ISIS. They don't want that kind of crap in their neighborhood, let me tell you. No, I agree. They so they're exporting it. Oil. Yeah. They just want to sell their damn oil. That's it. Why do you... you know, ISIS, whatever. It's like, you know, it's just a bunch of poor folks that are just disillusioned and bummed out that they have to live under Israeli control at checkpoints. They have no money, even though, like, the sultans are living like kings or whatever. And uh, and these people are pissed off. Good for them. I'd be pissed off, too, if, if like, all of a sudden I stopped getting royalty checks from, like, these damn uh, people that send me checks. I'd be pissed, you know, and they're pissed. They have no future. They're pissed, and they're beheading people and this and that. But uh, this is not new. We've been doing colonialism for a couple hundred years. We got it pretty perfected off the British, and we're going to keep going forward. I agree with you that they get a bunch of disenfranchised people that are ignorant to be part of the Al-Qaeda and ISIS brigades. But above that, the West wants to stir these groups up and let them attack or let them take the blame for further false flags. I'm really worried about another staged terror attack. What do you think? Uh, I think you're spot on on that one, except for one thing. Um, listen, I'm on the no-fly list zone. I mean, these people hate me, and I'm doing a whole flight tour. And you're the kind of person you want on your plane. I'd, I'd be on there in Malaysia Airlines saving people right and left. And I'd make sure whatever bastard went up to the cockpit would be tackled and beaten thoroughly. Okay? You're the kind of person that I want that you want on your flight. But no, the TSA just goes crazy over my piercings and shit. And uh, sorry about that word. Uh, it's okay. Shite, uh, something. But, but it's uh, as if, anyway. exactly. I mean, you don't look like an Al-Qaeda operative. Well, if I was, would I look like this? It's just ridiculous. But, I mean, they put congressmen and women on the no-fly list. It's a way to set up domestic internal checkpoints. By the way, we're going to break, but I want to talk to you in the long segment coming up about the Malaysia airline. I know you've been doing some research into that. Give us a little bit of your ideas on it now. All right. My idea is that aliens. Really? I'm serious. No, I'm dead serious. I don't think this was a governmental attack, whether it was over Uzbekistan or whatever, or wherever the hell they flew. They're never going to find that plane. I really think this is an alien intervention. Well, let's break now down. The hey, the last one went down. Okay, we know that. But that first one, 
I don't know, man. I think they just got sucked up into, like, some kind of 3D sphere or something. I want to hear what you think of David Icke. Maybe the planet's run by aliens. And I say that for the sake of debate and argument. I'm not saying that for the New York Times. I don't believe that. But but let's get Al Jorgensen's take of ministry straight ahead. Infowars.com. We're on the